In this video, I want to talk about the topic of accommodation and the decision I made regarding my cats. We, the owners of indoor cats, live with these small animals. We give them shelter, we feed them, we try to entertain them. But in the end, we have them trapped inside of our homes. Some cats don't mind at all. And on average, we know that it lengthens their lives to stay inside our homes. But it also brings up the topic of what do we owe them? To what extent are we obliged to them because we have them inside of our homes? Where did we draw the line? These are decisions that we make every day, and I don't have an answer for myself or for anyone else. But it does bring up the topic of accommodation. My name is Francisco, and on this channel, I work with my three cats, Calypso, Mr. Muffin, and Skyfall, to help you improve the lives of your indoor cats. I have this pump organ in my living room, and all of my three cats like to climb on it. And it's partly my fault, I admit that. When they were kittens, they looked cute climbing on it, and I let them, and I didn't nip it in the bud. When they got older, they kept climbing on it, and they would scratch the cover because it was slanted. They kicked on it with their back legs. Now, this was not an expensive organ because there's not a lot of demand for them. But people put a lot of work and care into making this organ, and I thought it deserved some respect. I couldn't just let it get scratched up. So I left it open and they would jump on it and there was no more scratching. Even Mr. Muffin, when he tried to get all the way to the top, wouldn't be scratching it. Fortunately, he doesn't do that anymore. I think that he's gotten too heavy. But leaving the organ lid open creates other problems. When they jump on the keyboard, they can dislodge mechanisms on the inside, and then I have to open up the organ to fix those, which can be a big hassle. In addition, they put the things that I have on top of it at risk. This is a piece of folk art that Mr. Muffin knocked off and broke. Now, in his defense, it really is partly my fault. I had put a toy of his on top of the organ. He saw me, and he decided that he was going to go up there and get it. Besides, I should not have left a fragile piece of pottery on top of the organ where I knew the cats climbed. So, that was pretty dumb. But this is just an example. We all have things that we don't want damaged by our pets, and we have to decide how we're going to deal with that. We have to decide how far are we going to accommodate their needs and interests. This pump organ is in the living room, and it's impossible to keep them out of this room because it's between the stairs and the rest of the house. So as a first step, I gave them other things to climb. I built a walkway around half of my living room. I put things next to the windows they, they could sit on. And I even let them climb into the bookshelves and knock off the books because, well, the books don't really get injured, so it didn't bother me. But these steps did not stop them from climbing on top of the organ. I even considered the possibility of putting tinfoil on it, but I think the tinfoil would have looked terrible and I want my living room to look good. I also considered double-sided tape, but I was concerned that the glue on that would actually damage the finish of the organ more than the cats would. I did not consider spraying them with water. Uh, this is a tactic that I think should be used only in extreme cases, and I didn't think this situation merited it. In addition, I think that it might have scared them off and, and they would have jumped off and made more damage to the organ if I tried that tactic. So I had to think about the problem. What was it really? And was there a possibility for me to meet them halfway? Some of the problem could be dealt with very easily. I didn't store toys on top of the organ anymore. And the fragile pottery was replaced by these wooden sculptures, which are much sturdier in case they knock them off. The real problem was my cats jumping on the keyboard. And if I could solve that problem, I think we could reach an accommodation. When they jump on the keyboard, they are not scratching the rest of the organ. I checked carefully to see if there were any other marks, and there weren't. It was only on that slanted surface as they were trying to scramble up. So I decided to make a cover for the keyboard that would look nice with this organ. And it took a little time. I had to get the wood, I had to cut it properly, I had to glue it, I had to stain it. I had to make sure it matched the organ relatively well. But it didn't take a lot of time. And so far, it's working. When they jump on the organ, they don't hit the keys, and they can sit up there and relax if they want to. So what I'm suggesting is that when we can, we should try to reach an accommodation with the animals that we care for. Even when the easiest solution sometimes might seem to be to scare them or s intimidate them into submission. You know, I see videos right here on YouTube of people saving animals from wells or from raging rivers or animals that have fallen through the ice. 
But those situations are very rare, and most of us will never actually encounter that kind of situation. For us, day to day, it's the little things that matter. I imagine that some people in the comments are gonna say that I'm a slave to my cats, that I should train them better, or that I'm spoiling them. And I'm not saying that they're wrong. I guess what I am saying is that when we can accommodate them, we should try. And I'm not just talking about house cats. We live in an environment with a lot of other animals. And uh, I think that Calypso Skyfall and Mr. Muffin have taught me that lesson. They made me think of the nature all around us, of the rabbits that might be eating the vegetables in our garden, of the gophers that might be tearing up our lawn, or of the birds that might be pecking at our fruit, and how we might be able to come to an accommodation with them also. And in the end, not only how can we accommodate all the animals and nature around us, but also each other. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share and like if you did like it, and I will see you in the next one.